What's up, Shivers? It's James here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, currently, we're in Rhodes, which is surprising because, you know, we did all that fucking shootout with the Greys and everyone, last episode. But we've got a bounty poster to do, and a stranger to talk to. So, let's start this off. I'll do the bounty first, because I want to see what happens. Um, yes. Mark Johnson. 25 bucks! You looking at that poster? They're an ugly old thing, aren't they? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. No, that fella is a farm in the swamp. Or trying to. Up by Stillwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. Okay. I've seen him coming and going here and I never had an inkling. Yeah. So, where exactly? Ah, up this way. Okay. Let's go do a bounty. Um, wanted what? Um, uh, it doesn't say so. I'll catch him alive, maybe. Yeah. Then I probably need to find some food for the camp. I really thought that if we got rid of the boss, then um, everyone would stop, but apparently not. Get off the road with a lot of track tracks because that's not safe.
continue. Nice. Gotta make sure everything is clean. There we go. I've only got five, but make sure most of the good ones clean. Nope. Much better. Here we go. Oh, I got a pump. I didn't know that pump had a shotgun. When did I get that? Change man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Okay. Thank you, Clint. You're a forgiving man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't don't leave us, Pop. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? No. Could have shot the shit out of him, but no, it's fine.
motherfucker flagged me for a fool. I'm gonna look at you too. Now, is that an insult to injury? <laughs> Here we go. Wow, you son of a bitch. Now what was the point of all that? Could have got your neck broken. Premature. There he is! Like the boar said! What? Oh, you son of a bitch. Some weird stuff in them. Um. Okay. Salted medicine. Mm -mm. Now the boy's gonna get in trouble now. Shane gang. Yeah, what up? 
What do you do? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut up, you pasty face streak of piss. I had up to here with you. No. Wow. Do your goddamn favor. What you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! So, the black guy is white and the white guy is black. That's... Okay. Are they around town at all? I don't understand. Since you were around this way. Oh, hey. You know anything about these runaways off the chain gang? Oh, hello. I heard both sides of that story. They're either horrible murderers or they were just defending themselves. Take your pick, which, as to where they are, no idea, sir. Yeah, uh, no, no. no. Everything. <laughs> so long. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Run up a tab now, have we? Uh, uh, I don't know about Mr. Black and Mr. White, eh? Right? Fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay, but the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise it's very right. It's all sorts of right. Mm -hmm.
You don't want money? No? I'm running out, Rose. Get him right here. Uh. Look out, will you? What fire? What are you doing? Um. Hey, mister. Howdy. You're doing a great job. Uh-huh. would sink so low as to burn the gray's tobacco fields like that. Mister, I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? Ow. What the hell? Drop my hat. Where my hat go? Sorry, guys. Just, I'm very curious as where the, all the pressures would be. So we got two. Get your own. Howdy, partner. 
Come on, where are you? You need to be faster. Come on. What the hell? Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Let's go for a ride. Those boys was mine! I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me. There we go. Oh, fuck off. I just wanted the poster back, but for fuck's sake.
Are you serious? What the hell? Come on. For what? Fuck's sake. Tra what? Train robbery? I'm doing that fucking shit. Shoot me, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. There we go. Now I can pay off the fucking bed. Fuck off. That was bullshit. I did not even fucking rob a train. I robbed, I looted a dude that was, you know, near a train. But that's a whole different other fucking story. Fuck you. What a piece of bullshit. 150? What? You done raised enough cane around here. Yes. Now open up the fucking thing. There we go. Fuck's sake. Forgot something? Hmm. I thought we were sweating a little. Fucking bullshit. How do you do, sir? Thanks. Hey, mister. Uh... Hold on, I'll be right there. Ah, I was just starting to miss you. Oh. No, that's not fun. Thank you for your help. Now I need one more. I believe. Some escapees got posters all over town. How do you do? You'd like to help. How are you, sir? Up a feller's missing. Got posters up all over town. Y'all in here, choice? What we out there? Hey, now. Settle down, fellas. Loonies. Sunday Southern. You're in my spot. Really? Now get! Why can't 
Yeah, I'll go, Bob. All over town, he said. Can we get someone to, to help us? Would you like help in there? Hell yeah, I would. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> Trust me, you won't regret it. lady like you end up in a place like this? <laughs> I may be a working woman, but I'm still a lady. Did your parents warn you about talking to naked strangers? <laughs> You're an amusing man, you know that? Just want to thank you. Oh, I thought needed that. Make sure you relax, sir. I think the rest of the gang needs a bath too, but yeah. All right, I think that should do it. You take care of yourself, all right? I'm surprised there's went more scars on Alpha's back. Oh yeah, fucking. Well, where are the rest of the fucking posters? We won't be up there. Hello. Hi, Misty. Well, hello there. I was going for a drink, but fuck it, I'll just go for the bar. Dude, I just helped out a guy. I put my feelings in the booze again. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, fucking Gavin's mate. Jesus. Uh. 
Um, I'll just think I know where the last eye could be. She you got some me. place that I can take you. Alright, I'm good. Let's go up a bit. Let's have a look. Stranger, <laughs> sift through, see what you like. All right, then, better be good. No questions asked. I don't know where the last one could be. In the church? Oh, finally. Fucking hell. Well, the other day I seen some poor bastard get bushwhacked by a group of street rats. Swarmed on him like a pack of wolves. Well, to start, he was dragged. Where are the convicts? I do. Oh, guys. Uh, I am surprised Pepper Jack has lasted this long. Hey, friend. Hello. 
I was in town. Pretty hot. That's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. Wait, what? I don't like to say. Well. Ugh. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, man. That's that. Free at last. Free for you at least. What? More money? Quiet. No? We should. Wait a while first. Get anyone down our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of boxes better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Ah, uh, ginseng, or whatever it's called. Uh, same, same game. Yeah, it'd be kind of hypocritical of me to uh, put, uh, like, um, to try and grab criminals when I'm a criminal myself. That's crazy for right here. Where do you got that? Oh. Hey. Um. We're just going to say to Molly, Denise, Sam, Dad, something like that. Field just heavily smells so much of tobacco after all the I've had in yeah. game, what she's what like Pepper Jack's one of the best so far. Yep. 
God damn. Vaguely see the guy. Yeah, a French guy. Trelawney's here? What the fuck? too much. I'll wait out here. Okay. Ew. 
damn it. Damn it. spread around so quickly. Let me go. So that's all done. Ooh, thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, he earned every cent. I killed worse. Eleven dollars and three cents. Really? Well, eh. Talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids no worse. Don't hurt him, please. Fucking. Fucking street rats. You little bastards! Oh, 
Some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. Mrs. Okay. Downs? Oh, no. Mind you. Get away. Oh, oh shit. Help. Help. help! Hold on. This man is bothering no. me. Someone help me. Officer, help! I kind of feel bad. What? Oh, uh, sorry. Dead or alive. Are you kidding me? Do anything this time again. Fucking hell. Oh, what are you 
bedroom will grab that. said for many boys, I'm like, we haven't stuck with a prostitute yet. Well, at least the nun didn't die. I am 50 again. Fuck's sake! Yeah, it's so fucking corrupt. Service? I heard the man's gonna be getting paid almost. Let's make our way back to camp. Just like the lady I was with. Anyway, please don't mind me. Ana Pushenna. Hey, but Jack, what the fuck is taking you so long? Didn't mean to open that.
get that fucking bounty. And he's like, oh my god, he did something so mean. Fuck you guys. Sadie is looking for a wood in that room. Nice. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right, here. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Good morning, Arthur. Good seeing you in action with those foreman boys. Like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got to back. Someone's planning. Really? Just gun oil. No, we did.
Everyone else fucking sucks. A bat wing. Ooh. Um. How's it going? Give some more money. There you go. What's in this room? Let's control the whole hay. What's that? Everything all right? What's that? Hey, Arthur. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. An old friend, Dutch Vandal, and just finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you down. <laughs> you son of a bitch. So we're gonna party. Dressed to the fucking nuns, we are. No, 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 pickpocketers. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we're going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. And I am sure that we will find so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Gentlemen, look up. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Uh, this is actually awkward. <laughs> Yeah, boy, this party is magnificent. Oh, the angry cowboy 
mesi, you are alive, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, High Society, eh? And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me, like that one. See, that wretch is the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> Henri Lemieux? For a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. <laughs> oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He oh, owns a sugar us. plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, uh, uh, Confederate Major in the war, a uh, hero they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, Did they the say his name is Hobart? Thing, yes, but they're young Hobart. Wife, Hobart. Hobart. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sense of them. Oh, Indians. They're Americans. Right. Stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans. No. <laughs> they gave what they gave. Oh, this is getting awkward. <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> <laughs> and that. That is Hector Fellows, this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, some cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking. None taken. <laughs> oh, we're born to bed with a bad person. They hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Oh my God. This has been wonderful conversing with you. This guy fucking you disgusting. You are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans? Well, we've not made any. Well, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not even myself from such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes. Is my guess, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, this will be no fun. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Oh, what, what the fuck was that about? Can I, can I go over there? I got lost! That was not the bathroom. Enjoy your evening and welcome once again to San Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. Oh, I must say, I am quite a big guest here. Get me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. Just big enough for me to swim in. Can I get a drink? Had a duty to take care of people living in this land, and that extends to Saint Denis. 
It ain't complex in you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny your idiocy so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. I am not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Oh. You are pretty drunk. Yeah, hey, I'll show you who love. Get your hands off me. Out you go. Sleep it off. Sit down. Good calm down. Count your foul. Ooh, I love her dress. Jeez, nice. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Oh, all of you. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and this city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Oh, Do you know shit. What I, mean, I don't know where the writer. Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. Oh. Ooh, Valex. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted on the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did you say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. So everyone's being played. Fuck. This ain't good. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps dinging. The mayor said he will sign later. What's the man gonna sign? I didn't... Ah. 
But what the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay, I'll end up. I thought we saw the dude walk the fucking thing. Master Levitic is gone. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes money. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. 
All them folk are so pleased with themselves. <laughs> well, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. <laughs> I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Okay. Interesting times, I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law react. Good. Uh -huh. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too. The mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Um, one side we got the code. Dross. He's probably fucked us over for some reason. Uh. Then we have. Oh. African Americans, the original landowners, Indian guys, and Trelawney. Hmm. I think. Can I jump down, or am I gonna hurt myself? Oh, Jesus! Too far. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Uh huh. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Cramshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. <laughs> That's insulting. Uh, this is how you get a good point. Say, Morgan. Oregon, you got any hair pomade? You get into no more trouble. I'll give you some in a minute, Bill. All right, Jack. I'm just fine. Why? No reason. <laughs> you got some guts, kid. Excuse me? You know. <laughs> hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some, Sure, uh, I'll buy you some hair pomade. I do not. How's it going? Is that a uh, hair pomade you wanted? Well, look at that. Thanks, Morgan. I, I owe you one. I reckon we should both just forget this ever happened. There she is. Morning. You look pissed off. <laughs> No more than usual. How are you holding up? Okay. I'm on my back playing up. Just checking you're all right. Sure. Say you little fine. Let's go help out the Native Americans. Yeah. The lake's just big out of fuckwit. Oh, 
floor off again. Save the game. Now, I feel, guys, that this is probably going to get a bit racist. So I do apologise. For what? The words will come out of every character's mouth. But that's not my fault, so. You'll just have to get used to it. Oh, shit. Can I go on there? Yeah, I'm just gonna bring back the fucking play. Uh... I'm just curious about this place, really. Help someone give birth? Wait, what? Oh, it's Taz. Okay, let's help out the stranger. Shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius. I wish I the hot poker up the ice. <laughs> what the fuck, you, Marco? Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some guy? A European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice. Like I say. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind. Oh, yes. my God. You meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue oh, American. Oh, I like that name, Dragic. You paid the money to him. Yes. He told the shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Oh, gee, uh, yes. My ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. <laughs> yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> Ladies, ladies, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, enchanté, <laughs> well, hello, hello, sir, <laughs> okay, uh, how is the files? Yeah, good, 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 okay, my friends, you are about to witness history, 
a demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. <laughs> I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, oh, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it. And I am about to prove that. Here, take this. Wow. Take this. And uh, don't touch that. Uh. Use these ones to steer and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Oh, shit. Yes, now now blow up your little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. Oh, cool. <laughs> Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on board to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified. Haha, <laughs> that's cool! And I have certificates. Hey! It's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to back and shoot with torpedo. Nice. It's fun. Shit! No wire like telegraph, no pulling system like yeah. the water, oh, I know. only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those school boards on the HO Hunter. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Pusaton, and we're ready to go. In a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make a fun man. That's so cool. This is the secret to life. Sure about that. Fucking I say look out for mine. If this is the new machine. Come on. That's so cool. I'm getting it. Show me one more to prove. Uh, I still not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer. That's cool. on your support. Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. 
maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Cool. Where is Dover Hill? And I hope you will forgive my European coarseness. Miss Sadie Adler. Horseman Apocalypses. Apocalypse Eye? Okay. Uh, Sometimes. Uh, can I say something <laughs> rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Uh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is... Rains fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, we saw you on the wagon train crossing the road. Oh, there's all those guys. The and at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. Uh. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, oh, the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who had filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder. Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. <laughs> like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is now undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Uh, we must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize if he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Bonjour, monsieur. <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. Bonjour. Nice day, huh? As long as it isn't the rain. <laughs> um. Do they want me to do that if he 
best time. Mm. Fair enough. Instead, come here, stop being a coward. Oh, gate of stew, fuck yeah, or steaks or whatever he's gonna make. Here to everyone can. Nice. 
an alligator too. Sweet. And pick up the bird too. when she hits the liquor. Sure, but... But I guess that's her choice. <sighs> I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. I'll try too. But... We both know it won't work. Then why'd you talk to me then? Sadie Adler. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined High Society. High oh, Society. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. If he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mr. Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, if you're more like her, we could take over the whole world. If you're more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Hey, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say, Lenny. No, I, I say. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? The fuck? <laughs> oh! Look, there, the tree line. What the fuck? Oh, sure, it was cool. Like, I didn't mind him. John, what are you doing, man? Fishing with the other day. Where are the children inside? Rescue you. Hold your ground. Oh, damn, 
Driscoll. Fucking pricks. Oh, Karen didn't need to die. He was an innocent dude. We gave him a hard fucking time. Fuck. <clears throat> Do I have any dynamite? I shouldn't be stuck with dynamite. Come on, load up. What are you doing? Fucking 
I can blow your head off, cunt. There you go. You don't come in here. Could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb on Crystal. That man can <coughs> really hate. So can I, Orson. So can I. We need to get moving away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Oh, well, load the bodies. Yeah. Damn it. Um, Arthur needs to get shaven again. He, did, he looks better without any hair. Fucking. Oh. He saved my life. I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. Mrs. Adler was crazy. He is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. I want stew now. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. You can't. He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. You okay? If we get the chance, okay. we surely shall. Fucking pricks. I need to restock up on my fucking shit and get a new hat. What did Bill get me? Oh, cheese, Bill. Then we only got two of them. Ah! 
Um, we... Okay, oh, what up here? We need fucking Valentine. Of course it's need fucking Valentine. Oh, I felt that was very unnecessary, but unless that's to hype us up to kill the fucking Adriscals once and for all, and that's understandable, but I was starting to like Kieran. Like, that was just, yeah. Gideon. Fair enough. Yeah. And I think uh, Karen or Mary Beth started liking him too. How far away am I? Quite far away. Just keep on going. I suppose it would be bad man to be bring out bring a dead animal to you guys. You know, he loves the lake and the land. Oh, no, this is legendary territory. I will do that a bit later. Oh. What's this? What's this over here? 
Chris. The O'Driscolls, they deserve to fucking die. Break your neck or your leg, but you're fine. Yeah. Ah, you're hey, a good, good girl. You are a very fucking good horse. above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What would the files <laughs> say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'm gonna take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you can climb into the back of that wagon. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know, guys. I will be back. Let's go to the toilets and.
Hi. This has turned into a stealth mission. And I suck at stealth. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Fuck. Really a cult? Fuck, 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 fuck. Jesus. Good. 
good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury. You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. It's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. I want that watch. Fine. some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliged. I thought you wasn't getting involved. thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. 
Thank you. Does the Emerald Ranch have a, um, answer stuff? No, it doesn't. Let's go to Valentine because I need a haircut. I like the look of uh, the Morgan Ball. Do I have a bounce gaming again? Or just the usual one to do our live shit? Obviously I do, because I look like that milk sop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head. What? Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> What the fuck is wrong with these two? Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. I feel like we didn't even do anything. 
Oh, of course you did. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Oh, please. This okay, no, is unbearable. No. He needs silencing. Oh, I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Please put us out of our misery. Jesus, this is fucking tight. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me you, too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. I let the violence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. Oh, God. You're deranged. Shoot the Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Uh, for all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering you? Uh, you two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. What the hell? Really? $2.20? Wow. That's... Fuck you. Morning. Oh, Jesus, that's bright. Look out! Where's the hangout place? Ah, over there. You got the one body off his tail there, Barb. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, hello there, sir. Don't think I've seen you around here before. I'll have you neatened up in no time. Hey, Styles. Make me bold. My Paul never did a better job himself, I reckon. Oh, there ain't right now fucking nice. No, nope, I'm I'm a, I'm good at that. Ooh, that's okay. something in the post office. Yeah, we're about nice. here. Thanks, Mister. Lamb's fry, beef stew. Ooh, lamb's fry. Oh, that looks fucking delicious. Oh, fuck yeah. Give me some fucking whiskey, mate. Bro, I should leave the bottle. And down we go. Nice. Um. Jack, what are you doing? Uh, well, well, if you're going to be a silly horse. Well, I don't know why you would get up on me. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. What I fought in the war. I fought for you!
be with you in just a moment. Hmm? Yes? What's he done now? Proud. Oh, actually, hold on. Back again? It's my friendly face, isn't it? Thanks. Woo! See you again soon. Ten bucks. Fucking hell. Let's see what the Frenchman has gone up to. in Dutch yet. I love to see my French friend. time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe Morning. that's a good thing. Oh, hold on. Let me compose myself. I want a glass of champagne. Hey, I'll take another cigar. And fight it. You if missed the party. If we're allowed to. I'll smoke as a guy. I think that it's Greek. Or 
Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you paint some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. Hey, oh. Is that your behind? Why would you have shown it to that man? That's my mom. As nude as the day she was born. <laughs> Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe she shouldn't expose herself like that. Oh, my God. The nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh like shit. Us. Come here, come here. Oh my god, this is far too good. Let's see what Trelawney wants. So well, no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? 
That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come on, here, no. boy, come on. I thought it's rather dapper. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. Um. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. Oh, that is a jealous people. You can see oh. the aristocrat in his profile. A very good choice, sir. From all the inbreeding. Let's get you to the barber. Sure. No! Tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. Oh, thank when God. you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. No, oh, don't be so jaded. I'm glad we got help no, with uh, fucking Parker because I did just barely well last time. Well, uh, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No. I hope we don't get to cut off our sideburns. No. I love the sideburns. Leave the sideburns alone. I've already we'll cleaned. Done here soon. I hope so. Come on. We're going for high society. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. No! Oh! Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Nice. Oh. Wait. Make him look like a prince, sir. Okay. Oh. What? Um... Yeah. Come on! Time is not ours to waste right now. Oh, you son of a bitch. I worked so hard on that. You fucking ah, oh. just ah, oh. just ah. Oh, I'm sad. Fuck you. 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 Very smart. You fucking piece of shit, Trelawney. You fucking ah. Oh, fuck you. I oh. arrange some transportation. I am fucking annoyed by that. God fucking damn it. George, to the Grand Gorgon, please. Grand Gorgon, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win it up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to bear. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Ah. Oh. Uh, Saint So, who's the mark? You're not going to wait, driver. 
Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Glyde. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a friend <coughs> of mine. I know it won't. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, even you weaponed me here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Fucking. Fuck you. Fuck. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. Uh, Watch Strauss. Fuck. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Oh, shit. There they are. It's gonna be fucking crazy. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Yeah, come on, right. come on, let's have a boy. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Dude, just because I'm fucking rich doesn't mean I'm buying everything. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I don't have any guy. The table's are white. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed river <coughs> a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. There's been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We oh. aim to please, sir. So, how are uh, well, if we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should oh, have. Oh, uh... <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Well, hello, my ladies. Okay. Mr. Blind wins with three queens. Fucking hell, us. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery. Ooh, I have a pair of queens. 
Now what? Just a better in a suit. Um, I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. What? I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Yeah, I'm going to race. You got enough chips there to go... Was I supposed to do that? You're just getting all the cards tonight, ain't you? to you, but I have no choice. All in. Okay. Um. Oh, call. Interesting. They're cowgirls. Shit. Oh, thank fuck for that. Wait. Shit. My luck hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Alright, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning. Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Oh. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. That means stuff to me, really. Steps. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. You don't keep us. Oh, he's fucking going all in, Jesus. All in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Um. Uh, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, it's definitely fuck, fuck me. Okay. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Ah. Uh, uh oh. Yes. Wait, that one? Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Oh, oh god damn you! N no offense. None tanked. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Follow me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Wow. We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but... Fiona, I've got my own <coughs> little law giver right here. Very good. Do you tell that around? Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Oh my and God, this boat's racist. I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Wow. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. In the fucking eye. Oh, shit, what 
Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Fucking hell. Hurry, Arthur. Someone will have heard that gun. I'm coming. Leave that asshole had another gun. You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Get out of here. Good for luck. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. Oh. How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Yeah, garnish no he makes you fucking shave your fucking mutton chops off. Now, freak. Off the side. Sorry, guys, I'm a bit By fucking way. salty after that. Thanks. Fucking yeah, Trelawney, you bastard. Days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor. You had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Now <laughs> look, there's your friend. It's like, ha 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 ha. you to take back the insinuation. Ah, Tony, what the fuck, man? There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friends. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There oh, you oh. shoot that man. Whoa, what the fuck? Fuck you, Trelawney. Yeah, prick. My fucking sideburns, you fucking bastard. Oh. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Should have blown up the bikes. I had to grow my hair back.
I'm going to go all the way back to Bell Time. Taxi. Where's the train? Cool, let's go. Yes, uh, sorry guys. I took a job while I, was, while I wasn't recording, and we um, were able to try and find Legends of the West. And I've done them all, so now the guy wants to see us. And I'm going to buy a train ticket to Melon Time. I see your friend. I'll help you out presently. Uh, what kind of things for you? Enjoy your trip. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, we had to, uh, a black be Betty, I think. She was pretty cool. She, we had to uh, shoot up some gangsters who were Billy Midnight was a drunk on a train who didn't believe us. Falco, you saw Falco, and, um, who was the other guy? Oh, the other guy was the guy with pig shit. <laughs> so, I would like to know what we get as a reward, or as a... Uh, do we have to, I don't want to give the guns back. Because it took a while to get the guns. Come on, load it up. Be like, choo choo, motherfucker. I know it's a waste of money, but I don't think you guys wanted to watch me go all the way. Run. God, you look so fucking weird, shaved. Jack, you're a good horse. There you go. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Callaway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Callaway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. San Denis? On a riverboat? Uh -huh. Okay, then. <coughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to San Denis and have you some Sazerac. If there's anything else I can do, you let me know. Hell, there's a face I haven't seen in some time. Hi, Neil. Fair enough. What will it be then? I need some food. Can I get a meal? Can I get a meal? Can I get some oatmeal? If it comes back up, don't come. Dude, that's not how you should trust your food. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that. Oh, you fucking prick. Be careful. Just what I need. Look out! Move! Hello? Hey, hey guys, we're going no. back to fucking St. Denis. Well, at least we got our opening like that. What a fucking prick! Howdy, I'm back. If you give me a minute, please. No, you will serve me now. Pleasant travels. Fu oh, you fucking motherfucker. God damn it.
If they have gone somewhere else, oh, I'll be so pissed if they're in Blackwater. I'm already pissed. I've shaved my fucking sideburns. Mutton chops. You fuck. Ah, Trelawney. Oh, I'm pissed off with that. How the fuck did those two make it to fucking here? When, you know, they were kind of drunkards. Oh, there's a dead person. There's a dead person? From the old days. Well, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we, said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast. What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass me? Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. By the way, we'll work. Uh, damn you, Zero Eleven. You're a snake. Damn you. Eat. Damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn as I did, I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. You can't happen to me. I will kill both here! Oh, Calm Jesus, down. Jesus, fucking hell. I'm a legend! Yes, you are! All right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. Well, maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, 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 <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always <laughs> hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He stayed Ain't no friend of mine. mine. State Marshal? Make a damn cousin killer State Marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay.
Where am I? I say Dutch. Yeah, this trolley train where we're the other way and done with. You think they scooped him up or we turned on? There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Tahitians. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place. Oh, Jim, we're rubbing down. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. This is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. And you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't now, make I'm us kill you. Everything you got. Mr. Ed, please, these take my folks are their valuable. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Fine. That's your choice. Give me all your money now. And you walk away. Okay. Well, I see what's Excellent. Thank you very much. Open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Give me your money. Who <laughs> is worth dying? Of course, of course. Just take it. And there's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. Ram, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. Wow, that's fuck all. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Then we got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Fuck. We got you surrounded. Richie, son of a bitch, he set us up. Thank you, see, like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. You gonna do gentlemen something? We try. We try. Well, good gentlemen. The fuck are we doing? Go now. Oh.
Dutch, you're about as dumb as everyone else. In the fucking ribs, Jesus. How the fuck are we gonna do that? Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, fuck! That would have fucked shit up! Oh, God! Where are we going? Thank <laughs> you. 
destroyed them. But Yeah. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seems like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. Thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What do we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Hey, you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, hey, win them all. Holy fuck. Made money, but we lost more money in the process. Hey there, girl. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you good, girl?
They're gone. Woo! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a big take. Jesus. There, guys. Um, next time we're gonna have some fun with um, Callaway and his kill. Maybe more drag, drag, dragic, and the rest. Yes. So, um, yes. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. But fuck, that was intense, and I missed my fucking mutton chops. God damn it. Uh...